name's Brian Angus and um, I farm in Arlington in the Free State and the name of our farm is Woodview. My daughter Megan farms with us. We used to be crop farmers, more crop farmers and at this, this stage we more um, cattle farmers. In 1999 I discovered the breed called Wagyu. Now the Wagyu cattle uh, come from Japan originally and they produce the world's best beef. Overseas it's known as Kobe beef. In South Africa we can't call it Kobe because uh, it doesn't come from the Kobe region, um, our beef. The Wagyu have the ability to produce highly marbled carcasses. The marbling is, the, is the, like the thin layers of fat inside the meat. It's a whitish fat. This marbling is extremely tender. It makes the meat succulent and tender and nice to eat. One of the great things about um, the Wagyu carcass is that you can cut a lot of steaks out of a Wagyu, um, much more than in a normal animal, and it adds to the value, of, you increase the value of the carcass because there's so many more steak cuts. Cuts like bolo, topside, we make topside steaks. We, we, we cut plenty of different cuts out of a carcass that you can't do with normal feedlot beef. Commercial farmers being interested in Wagyu or to increase the, the amount of money they make per hectare can buy Wagyu bulls, to put on their cows, they can buy semen to inseminate the cattle with. And the market for Wagyu cross calves is, is very big and that's one way a commercial farmer can, can get into Wagyu. When it comes to the stud side, uh, purebred side of, of, uh, of Wagyu cattle, you can join the Wagyu Association of South Africa. At present we have 43 members and then you can breed purebred cattle to, to market to other commercial farmers. We get a, a lot of emails inquiring about our beef, especially for export, but our problem there is we don't have enough carcasses to market. Most of our orders are people looking for containers, which we can't, we can't fill at the moment. So there's a massive opportunity for, for farmers to get into breeding crossbred Wagyu cattle because of the export market. South Africa can produce much cheaper, apparently up to 75% cheaper than, than Australia can. Our cost of production is much lower, so we can put the same product on the market at a cheaper price, and which is a big advantage for, for South African farmers.